Carter is always on the go. He doesn't like to sit still. He likes to be doing things and going. <laughs> Carter has a big personality. You would see him in the halls and he, I mean, he really just lights up everybody's day. A funny kiddo. He can make you smile. He likes his snuggles. He is very determined <laughs> when he wants to do something. <laughs> He's just your boy that wants to be in everything and be around everyone when he's just sleepy and tired, he wants to be snuggled. And of course, that's our favorite part as being his caregivers right now is just being able to take care of him. Carter was born at OU. And shortly after that, he had his first open heart surgery at nine days old. And then he had his second open heart surgery at eight months old. and Carter received a trach um, shortly before his first birthday. We found out in utero that he had a heart condition called Tetralogy of Fallot. He was born with a genetic syndrome, and with that syndrome, he has multiple congenital heart defects. And because of those, his oxygen doesn't circulate like ours does. We stayed in the hospital for a really long time, uh, about a year. And then after that, we decided it would be good for Carter to come to the Children's Center. He was here initially because he was on the ventilator. Um, he had a tracheostomy tube, a uh, feeding tube. He wasn't able to sit up. He was basically just kind of bed bound. He didn't really have a lot of muscle, no motor skills really at all. His oxygen is pretty low at his baseline, and he's had to have a couple surgeries even since he's been here with us but we've been working really hard on getting things ready for him to go home. For kiddos here, their goal is to play. And so that was my goal for Carter, is to get him into that role of playing and learning how to do things. And then as he progressed, it was also learning, hey, we can teach you how to get dressed and how to take a bath and brush your teeth instead of people always doing it to you. You can do it for yourself and teach new ways to do that as well. He's really growing and he's learned so much. He's learned sign language from being here. He's able to stand on his own um, because of physical therapy. He's drinking out of a cup, which is crazy. We've been able to kind of get his medications down to a pretty minimum. Um, he doesn't have his tracheostomy tube anymore, so the training medically is pretty minimum now, which is great. You know, I came in here and I seen all the other children and I thought, wow, can Carter do that too? You know, it was just like, I was hoping and praying that that was going to be the life for him. And each week he improved and each week he learned something new. And now he's, you know, he's walking and he's getting in and out of his own wheelchair. And he's just doing all these things that I never expect that he could do. And he's able to do that because of the Children's Center. I have high hopes for him and everything that he's going to do. I think he's going to take off. I think he'll, he'll be running, I think, by the end of the year. <laughs> now that Carter's home, he's going to thrive. Um, going out into the community, watching brother and sister play sports, um, going to school, making friends. To see a patient go home like Carter, who has just defeated all odds his entire life, it's just amazing to be able to witness that miracle. And I just feel blessed to be a part of it. And so I'm thankful that I could be there for Carter and his family, so. Well, I just wanna say thank you to um, each and every person that has had a hand in Carter's journey. I really, really appreciate it. And I know that you guys love him just as much as we do. And, um, just God bless you all and thank you so much for being a part of Carter's life.